Hey everyone, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So today I'm going to show you how to make my pop-up book with a single wiper and I'm going to be adding a photo. So I've got a very cute little photo here of my best friend's little girl, which she said I can use. So you've got the pop-up book mechanism die set and then this is the wiper edition. So you can use this on its own and I've got tutorials showing you how to use that. So I'll link them now. But if you have brought the additional wiper set, and that's what you're going to need to make this one. I've also used the bookmark and wax seal set. And I'll talk you through all that in a moment. You've got your alphabet here and your numbers for building the book. I'm using the baby editions, but there's also the birthday editions and the new home editions. They would also work nicely with a new baby card because you've got the balloons there and some of the florals. And then I've also got the poem and the stamp set here. And then for this one, I've used the polka dots from the pop-up bouquet paper pad. But I also thought... This one would work really well, which was from the 3D Delights pack. I think that's got all the polka dots and stuff would work really well for the new baby card. But any occasion these dies will work with Christmas books. I think it's going to be lovely, like the night before Christmas and things like that. So I've already gone ahead and cut everything. So first you want to get all your pages cut. So I have done a lot of prep beforehand. So I've cut the large one here and I've heat embossed one and two in the bottom. And then I've cut the next size down and I've stamped three and four and that's going to fit on top make sure that you've got the deeper curve at the top and you've got that slightly smaller curve at the bottom and then the smallest page I've cut and that's and that's got five and five <laughs> I can easily fix that I've got the Versamark pen so I'm going to just attach that oh, I didn't even realize it was late it must have been late anyway We'll sort that one out in a moment, but you can see how they layer up on top of each other, like so. And then take your scoreboard and you just want to add the score line through the middle. So I'm just popping it in the scoreboard and just lining up the middle where they join and then score. We've not added them in just so that we can keep them nested together. It kept the cost down. And then using the poem stamp set, I've just stamped and heat embossed it. And then you want to cut them using your dies here again make sure you've got it the right way up so you've got the the deeper curve at the top there so you've got one for your left one for your right I'm going to color that image in in a minute but that's going to sit in the middle there and you can see all the numbers which I will fix that five as well <laughs> so that's my book that's going to pop out it's going to pop out of a six by six card blank. So I've already gone ahead and cut my silver to five and three quarters squared. The pattern paper is five and a half squared. And then inside, this is five and three quarters squared. And that book is going to be lifted up with that background. OK, you also get these three dies, which are these ones here. You want to cut one of this one here. Then you've got your big square and rectangle one here. You want to cut two of those. And then you want to cut two of the thin one here. OK, if you're making just the plain pop up book, then you'll need four of those. But because we're adding the wiper, you only need two. And then if you're using the wiper mechanism, you want to cut two of this one here. We're going to reinforce the edges. And then depending on what you're having popping up, that may be enough surface for you to add whatever it is you're having popping up. This here is your saddle piece and it's your platform to be able to build more of like an arch pop up. So got that one as well. Again, you might want to reinforce that cut two and stick them together. And then I'll go through what we've cut there. And then these squares here are for a photo or if you've just got different images that you want to, you know, have in that shape. So I've cut the pink in the largest and then the photo in the smaller size. And you've got three hearts there as well. And I've just cut, you know, a selection of those just to add in when I go to decorate it. Okay, you'll have two of these. And what you want to do is cut this piece off, off the top and then also off the bottom. And you can see I've already stuck it over here just makes it nice and strong and be able to you know handle and pull out what you have attached so you can see i'm sticking that over the top i mean it's optional you don't have to do it but i'm just showing you ways to add those reinforcements the outer score lines here these pieces like the panels are just supports for the side of the card so i'm just going to find a track and just 
go over those score lines and again keeping everything nice and straight this one goes right through the middle and then I've already stuck that one down so I'm just gonna line that one up there so once I've scored it you just want to fold these in I'll just show you that end first so you want the V to be a valley fold and then this middle score line you want that to be a mountain so again at this end here just folding that all in so you'll see you end up with that shape and that's how it's going to sit in the card okay you can see how that pops out and then I'm going to stick that one in that space there just to reinforce it so you can see the shape that I've cut out so when you've cut two pieces you're just cutting that out of one of them again I'm using the construction glue and that's going to then dry nice and strong so if you do that now and then if you're you know prepping all your decoration this can dry now this is actually going to be a single wiper so I'm going to be cutting one of these right off but I just wanted to show you how I reinforce that one there and I'll just leave this in the video, just how I correct this, because, you know, it's handy to see how we can fix these things. So I'm just using here, this is the Versa marker. So you've got a thick brush tip and you've got then your finer tip. And I'm just going to join up that end there. Hopefully it's a thin enough nib and it's not joined that up and then I'm just going to pop my embossing powder over that and heat set it again. There you go now we've got a number six which I can get away with <laughs> so that's a quick way to fix it if you do something similar. Okay, so I've coloured that in, I've fixed the number five, and then I've just started to prepare the pages. So on the back here, I've just ran some thin tape either side of the fold there. I've also stuck these in using liquid glue, and I did that in the pop-up book tutorial. If you want your pages to turn and be able to maybe stamp or have your message on each one, I think maybe adding tape will be better, because when you add the glue, it's obviously going to spread out further and maybe not in a straight line. Whereas at least that is, and you know you'll be able to turn the pages quite nicely. Also, I'm using a textured um, cardstock here, so it's going to adhere to that much easier. So I'm just going to take the backing off. You can also stick the whole page down, so you could just stick that right onto there if you want to. But I've I've added a oh I didn't mention that actually. I'll stick this one down and tell you with that one. I've added a curve to these so that when they naturally open, they're just going to bounce. And I think it just gives it more of a book look. So I'm just going to focus on the top and the bottom and lining this up with the middle. You can also do it like this, which some of you might find easier. So if I do it that way, just make sure you've got an equal top and bottom. Get that score line right over the other score line and stick that down. So we can still kind of turn those pages. You could if you want to hole punch some holes here, pop some you know, twine through there. With the pages, I like to add a curve to them. So just use my bone folder and just add a little bit of shape to them. And it just makes them more book-like. I've actually used a variety of paper and cardstock for the pages. This is a paper, so about a 150 GSM, whereas that's like a 270 mirrored card, so it's quite strong. But you can see they all work well together. I just wanted a mix of pink tones. But you can see by adding that shape, you just when it's you know you don't need to add any foam tabs so i'm trying to reduce the bulk but but still have all that dimension so again just going to take the backing off and then sit that one in the middle and then the same with these ones we're just going to add a little bit of shape now these ones will layer perfectly so you get an equal frame but if you want it to look more book like i bring it in slightly 
that way your numbers line up and you get that same gap between the pages there but again depends on what you're doing you might not be adding the numbers just want to show you lots of ways to use it so again just adding a thin strip of my tape there so i'm just sitting this one near to the score line make sure i've got an equal top and bottom border there and then again like so so now you can just add a bit more of a curve to it all but you've got that cute little book i think it's lovely so then with this one here i want to remove this bottom one if you're making a double then keep it but look at my double tutorial so i'm just going to snip across there so i've just got my top wiper coming out there you want to fold this up and we're going to add glue to either side make sure you go right around the edges and again and then make sure that that one is at the top if that's where you want it to pop out you might have a single wiper coming out from the bottom so then you would have it that way i'm going to keep it like this so fold it down and you want to sit this in the middle if you want to mark three inches down you can but i'm pretty happy that i'll get that as close to the middle yeah i'm happy with that and then just make sure that you bring it up to the score line not over the score line but just up to it and then fold over the card and just leave that for a minute don't be tempted to lift it too soon just make sure that's completely dry okay so now when we open it you'll see we've got that piece that will pop out the top so our book is going to go over the top here and then that will disappear behind the book and then pop out when you open the card with whatever you've got on it in my case it's going to be a photo and then some other decorations so what we want to do next is take this one here and you just want to fold all of the score lines if you want to go over them with your scoreboard you can do but you just want them to be all mountain folds and then i'm going to add my glue just to this side and then to this side okay and the shape of this end is the same as this piece here so bring it right in if i just open it up you can see i'm sticking it down there so just right up to the score line again not over the score line just up to it and if you fold that and then you want to bring this over this these sides here need to be able to go inside this if you just sit that flat and close it that side's going to stick to it and you don't want that you've got to just lift it over let it get into that spot okay like so so i've just pushed it in there and then close the card we need that wiper piece to go between the two layers so now when i open it you've got this kind of bridge which goes across the two sides here and these side pieces should be able to go underneath okay they just slide in then you want to take these two pieces and you just want to fold them like so and you'll see you've got like a rectangle at the top and then that square at the bottom that square fits perfectly over each side of this of these pieces here and this is going to create the cradle which will hold the book so i'm just going to stick one side down there and then the other side again just close that all down now when we open it up the book will sit on these two here and then these will all support it okay but that's what you want to have in place for us to then move on to the next step of attaching the book so you want to fold this in half and these pieces are going to stick either side of the book okay don't worry about this piece for the minute just focus on here and you want to get the book so that it's in the middle of the card like in terms of the top and the bottom there so what i would do is i'm going to do this side first make sure that's stuck to the top there so i'm going to add my glue on this one and then so it's kind of just sitting in this there's no real pressure on this part so i'm just going to sit this in making sure that the card is in the middle of the main card blank and then close that down can i just show you on the side here can you see how straight this outer page is the one with one on 
can see I've got the same border all the way up there. It's a little bit higher this end than that end, but it's not. it doesn't matter. It's in the card, which is what you want. Okay, so I've got everything in place. You'll find your book's quite wobbly at the moment. That's fine. What you need to now do is this one here is going to slide behind the book. The front page, should I say. Can you see how it slides in there? So what you'll find you would need to do is just add a little curve into that just to, again, give it that shape and kind of to follow that direction. But you can see there now that that slides in. Don't worry about this catching here. You're going to be adding stuff to that in a minute and we're going to snip this down anyway. So that is now ready for me to add my photo. I think I look so cute. So I'm going to actually maybe before we do that, I'll add these supports because I think it's going to help overall with the other bits. So with this one here, you just want to fold the top and the bottom. The middle one is you'd use that more when you're making like a lifted book. And again, I'll be sharing tutorials of that. But just fold those two for the moment. And again, the ends there. And then so because I've got the single wiper going down here, this support is going to be down this end. This support is going to be up this end here. If you've already seen my pop up book, I add supports to all four corners because there's no wiper. But they're just going to go there and that helps pull the book open. So I'll do this side here first. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue along the top. And I'm going to add this one about an inch down from the front page there, like so. And then I'm going to fold all of that flat so you've got all of that facing you. And then add your glue to the other end. And then that's gone behind there. Slide it all down and then let that adhere. I'm going to show you again with this one. Just let that one dry. Okay, so now when I open it, that's a lot more secure. You can see how it looks behind there. So again, I'm going to take this one and add my glue like so. And again, bring it round about the same kind of position. So you might want to measure, I'll come down probably eyeball it's about there <laughs> so I'm just sticking that one like so because you want it to be balanced and then add my glue to that end keep that all flat and just bring that all down make sure everything folds in like so and just keep that flat for a minute okay so now when you open it up your book should be nice and balanced and look like it's floating and then like I said, I've kept my pages free. So if you want to, you know, add a message under here, you can do. You know, they're working little pages. But adding that little curve, I just think helps kind of lift them without adding that extra bulk. And now I'm going to trim off a good chunk of that. But again, it's going to vary depending on what you've got. Now, when you start to weight this, the idea is, is that it will, when you start to add stuff to this, it starts to bow it back. And that's what you want. Because you can see when it bows back, it then falls into that place. So it's just about kind of building up a bit of weight onto this. Like I said, you might not want to reinforce it. You know, everyone's going to find different ways to do this. Now, I'm just going to kind of tack it for the minute because what I want to do is just check. Now it's going to move because the glue's not dry. I want to check that it's going to obviously hide behind the card. Yeah, so it's all concealed inside the card there. So I'm happy with that positioning. So I'm just going to... Just make sure that stays curved and whatever you have popping out, have it so it's already sitting past this part of the book because that's where you're likely to get anything to catch. But if it's already past that when it's open, you can see how nicely that slides in and you can see it displays itself really nice. I love this style. It's so cute. And again, for the bottom, if you're having that double wiper, but now you can add more around this and on it um so i just i mean i've cut all sorts here so if you've got the saddle again i'm going to show that in another tutorial because again that the idea of the saddle is that when you position it this is already behind the book a bit you want to have your pop-ups kind of still behind the book so it eliminates that catching and it will just glide in and out but i think that looks so cute so we've got i mean i've got things like this i was just going to stick on some of the pages maybe have the little bottle there you could then stamp, because she's Winnie, so I'd stamp a little W or heat emboss a little W on the bottle. This is going on the front. This is the bookmark, which I'm going to personalise, and I've got that. But I'm going to just play around with this. I might add 
a little heart there as well maybe a couple of little because you've got the smaller heart i've got the bigger heart somewhere as well so i'm going to have a little play around i might add the glittery one or maybe a couple i don't know you can see what i mean you can just there's so much scope and you know whether you've got the baby stamps that i'm using here you might have other things in your stash there's so much you can use with this set So I've stuck everything down, I've just kept the bottle and the safety pin on there and then I've taken the hearts that come in the addition set and just built them up around the side of the picture there again, just make sure it can all, you know, slide in and nothing catches. And then for the front, I've already put together this, I'm going to tie some string around the top there, but you get your large die for the back. And then you get this one here. This is nice to cut with vellum as well. You can heat emboss on it and do all sorts. And that will sit over the top. If you want to just have that one as the bookmark, you can. If you just want to have that one as the bookmark, you can. You don't have to layer them up. I've used my linen embossing folder just to create a bit of texture there. And I'm not going to make a pocket on this one, but I just thought it'd be nice to have on the front. And then I'm going to build up some of these bits which I've cut but didn't get to use them all inside the card. So we'll use them on you know the front here i think i'm going to use the wax seal the with love probably have that there once i've tied that off and then i've stamped things on some of these so on that one i stamped a b for baby that one i stamped the heart which comes in the set i might have you know the other bottle there different colored safety pin and then a little sentiment that I'm going to choose. So that's the front of the card all finished. I've just stuck with everything that come in the release. So I've used the new Chapter Begins little sentiment there. You've got the With Love, all of those baby editions and the bookmark. And then when you open up the card, you've got the pop-up of Winnie and then that floating book, which I think looks lovely. You can see your poem. I love the embossed detail there. And then it all folds down and that will go into a six by six box envelope or a normal envelope. I'll share my envelope tutorials there for you. I think it makes a wonderful keepsake. It's really, really sweet. So I hope you've enjoyed this single wiper pop-up book card from me today. I will share all of the products that I've used in the description box below. I also have the other tutorials coming up now using this set, just different ways to use it. And if you've enjoyed today, give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel. And that way you won't miss out on any future videos. See you all again soon. Bye.